a college cop has been exposed as being racist and anti homeless community. Let's put up his picture. He was trying to do this in secret, but we got him now. This cop, college campus cop, was secretly a racist and anti homeless Reddit troll for years. Under the anonymity of the internet, University of Colorado Boulder police officer trolled Reddit threads with racist and anti homeless posts for years. He said things like, effing gross ass tent towns, drugs and ish everywhere because they don't want the police dealing with them. Seven year veteran officer Drew Matthews is his name, wrote in the R Protect and Serve sub subreddit in a post three years ago. I say, call in fire with the police and just spray the houses at them till they leave. Even if they don't get a shower, even if they don't get a shower out of it. University of Colorado um, officer Drew Matthews wrote that. Let's put his picture up one more time, okay? There he is, all right? But now a Boulder based pro housing community group confirmed who was behind the offense, uh, the offensive post. Matthews has been placed on paid administrative leave. He's also under internal investigation, paid administrative leave, all right? The post highlighted are offensive and reprehensible. According to the Colorado University Boulder Police Department, they said this in a statement early in the week. Department Chief Doreen Jokerst said the allegations against Matthews have been referred to the city's Office of Institutional Equity Compliance as well as the department's professional standards unit. That's according to news CBS for Denver, okay? Now, can I just say the obvious? Why does it take this much? Fire his ass, fire him now, he needs to be fired, okay? That's what needs to happen, why is he not fired? Well, they will fall back on, well, like, I, you know, it's, it's, it's the police union rules, damn them rules. This guy needs to go. If he is saying these things and you have already connected it, you all are supposed to be investigators. If you all have connected that he's saying these things in whatever format, do you think he can actually police without bias? This is a lawsuit waiting to happen if it has not already happened. If you're looking for the poster child for defund the police, put his picture up again. That's the guy, that's the person that's going to defund the police right there, him, all right? Okay, in a series of tweets, Safe Access for Everyone, Safe, a bold organization that does charity work and advocates for the rights of unhoused residents in the city, shared more than a dozen screenshots of classist and racist posts from Matthews, known as Reddit user, u slash Boko Ram, Boko Ram 18. Uh, they are like cockroaches, he said, immune to everything now, Matthews wrote uh, on about homeless people and replied to a post about vaccine requirement at a local theater in Boulder on the sub Reddit R Boulder. Uh, in a reply to a photo of black civil rights protesters being sprayed by hoses back in the 60s, this cop wrote, and I quote, hey, they are getting a bath at the minimum. Okay, now I know some people will push back on this commentary when we post it on Facebook Watch and YouTube. And they will say things like, well, Doc, he's protected by the freedom of speech. He is, he is protected by the freedom of speech, um, which means he can say whatever the hell he wants to say without being arrested for it, okay? But as far as him holding a position of public trust, he signed a contract that's basically a morals clause and it is enforceable. And that morals clause, when you become a police officer, says these things you will not do. You will not do these things that obviously bring up reputation issues for you and the department. Cops can be fired for these things that has been upheld by the United States Supreme Court. All right, uh, David, thoughts on this? This guy is clearly not, not only just a racist and homophobe, but he's also a coward. If he thinks yeah. he's so tough, why was he hiding behind some anonymous name or name that he thought would shield him? He should have just put out his own name. He should have said Drew and put it out there for everybody to say this is how I feel. And then he could defend himself. But the idea that he could somehow think he would get away with this and that he's still being paid. He's still being paid while this is investigating. You're absolutely right. Law enforcement, all sorts of people have clauses that suggest what you can and cannot do on social media. Reddit is part of social media. Just the fact that he was on there expressing hateful opinions, that should be enough to get him fired immediately. The foot dragging to me is is beyond is beyond shocking. Yeah, it, it is. 
in saying, I do believe that if a win, they look at this guy's record, they're going to see that he has race based assaults, allegations, etc. There's going to be bias in his policing. Now, when they find that, they should arrest him. They should arrest him for any falsification on the police report. They should arrest him for any kind of violence against any person he was prejudiced against. They should arrest him for anything he has done to a homeless person that was outside of the bounds of civility. They should, but they won't, they won't. And let us not forget, this is a cop who has charge over a college campus. These are young people. This is not the person you want around your young person, all right? This is not the guy.